Exactly. What have you heard about the real estate market lately? We've heard the craziest things that people seem to be hearing from other sources. So what's real? You're in the right place. We'll give you the straight answers next. Let's start with rates. Are they up? Are they down? Well, after hitting rock bottom last year and after us saying over and over that they would only go up, they are indeed up. However, would you expect them to still be lower than this time last year? They are in fact lower than this time last year. After seven weeks of increases, the 30 year fixed rate mortgage has recently retreated slightly, coming in at 3.13%. During the same week last year, the average rate was 3.33%. That's valuable perspective as far as we're concerned. Rates have really increased lately, but it's all relative. They've leveled off and they continue to remain affordably low. Are homes really selling for crazy amounts over list price? Yeah, the answer is yes and no. As with many things, it just depends. The quirkiest homes, even in desirable neighborhoods and areas, still don't sell as fast or for as much money as you might think. We are hearing, seeing, and experiencing homes selling for 5 to 15% above asking price. In some cases, there are homes that are still selling at or near their own list price. And in some cases, believe it or not, there are homes selling for less than asking. So it just depends on what's out there. We like to take a customized approach. When we're advising clients, there's never a one size fits all approach. We encourage a customized approach to making offers each and every time we advise our clients on offer strategies. While some of the hottest areas, especially in the suburbs of late, homes are selling at record pace and for record prices. With all that said, there are still opportunities to snatch up properties for reasonable prices. Increasingly over the past couple of weeks, as rates have been increasing and buyer fatigue was likely causing attrition in the pace of demand, I've heard more accounts and seen more statistics showing that the most frenetic aspects of the market have quelled a bit and prices and sales are moderating. Imagine a real estate world where you could actually pay real, uh, the real list price and not even have to compete. It actually still does occur, even though it's not as often, um, in this market from time to time. Could this be a sign of slowing overall? If you're wondering where the inventory has gone and why more people aren't listing, well, so are we. There's so many factors impacting when people list their homes, but springtime is historically the most common time. There are still concerns looming regarding the pandemic, which has kept homeowners sidelined. Having something to buy once they sold is another factor, and there are others as well. Yeah, to date, sellers have brought fewer listings to market, which is keeping inventory level levels at record lows. Still, throughout the month of March, sellers brought 5,820 new listings to the market, which is 28% more than last month, indicating that inventory is increasing as we move further into spring. We mentioned last month that we have solutions for would-be home sellers who want to list but aren't sure when they'll find their replacement home. Some of our clients have had success just by temporarily moving in with family, but there are other solutions that work as well. Short-term rentals, vacation rentals, and corporate short-term housing are a few of those options. Another great option to take advantage of is bridge loans, which allows you to buy the home you want first prior to selling the current home. Off-market sales have been successful in helping our clients transition to their next home as well. In other words, we're able to play matchmaker and place clients in homes that we're aware of that are for sale, but they're not yet on the market. Even having home buyers stay in the homes that they've just sold and rent back their former properties um, for a temporary time is a good way to lengthen the window of opportunity for buyers to find replacement homes as well. New construction can also be a great solution for increasing your buying options. Builders are feeling the pressure due to increased interest in new homes. Prices also reflect that interest. However, building a new home is a great way to find inventory you may not be aware of. Make sure to contact us before you get too far into the process with the builders. They play by their own rules. You don't want to get taken advantage of. Now, there's no doubt that once a home gets listed, it typically sells quickly. In March, a home spent an average of 19 days on the market. That number was a full month this time last year. It also is five days fewer than last month. Sales are also up. In the Denver metro area this March, nearly 5,200 homes closed, which is more than any other March on record. The number of March closings was up by 7% compared to March of last year and a whopping 31% more than last month. The first quarter of 2021 was undoubtedly active for the Denver metro housing market. Throughout the quarter, there were more closings than any other first quarter on record. As we've discussed, prices are breaking and hitting all-time highs. If you've pressed pause on selling your house anytime over the last year, 
You may stand to benefit tremendously with prices being at record highs. Now may be the best time to put your plans back into motion while inventory is so low. Now more than ever, we understand that everyone's situation is unique. So please give us a call to discuss how this current real estate market impacts you. We'd love to hear from you.